So pleased, as I walked around earlier today, so pleased to see so many familiar faces and also those folks who have joined us for the first time. And we are also honored to have many of our elected officials who we'll uh, introduce a little later for joining us and I want to thank them for the tireless work that they do each and every day in our community making sure that we are a safe an inclusive community. So thank you very much to our elected officials. I also want to uh, take the opportunity to welcome and sincerely thank our talented performers as you're going to see a little later on this morning, our dedicated community groups. We have 92 community groups that have joined us today and their friends and family and uh, we want to thank them also, and I think uh, let's give them all a bigger round of applause. So. As you've heard, this is uh, our 16th year in a row. That is pretty significant in itself. I see Dave Barrel sitting in the front, and I know he was with us on the first outing that we had uh, celebrating this very important International Day for the Elimination of Racial Discrimination. And uh, I wanted to share with you that this day, uh, was created to remind us uh, of the horrific Sharpsville massacre that occurred in uh, South Africa some uh, many, many years ago. And in actual fact, it occurred in 1960. And uh, I know that our Consul General of South Africa is here today, and I want to thank him for joining us uh, and having an opportunity to speak a little later on this morning. Here in Canada, while we face many unique challenges, like our never ending winters as of this morning, it still hasn't gone away, uh, but we are still a destination of choice for so many people who value diversity, inclusion, social justice, human rights, which all have a strong connection to uh, this year's theme, celebrating the strength of our diversity. 